And welcome back, this is Valor Scuba with another episode of Let's Play StarCraft II Wings of Liberty multiplayer. I don't know why I'm in a funny mood today, but my opponent in this upcoming match for this StarCraft II commentary is Fusilroni. He is a type of noodle apparently. He is ranked number 5 in his gold division with 324 wins and 296 losses with 2,441 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the Southwest up against Fissel Roney, FSL Roney. Uh, maybe that's a clan name. I don't know. Are they called clans in this game? The guilds? Teams? Whatever. You know, like his little team name. And then he's Roney. I don't know. He is the Blue Zerg in the Northeast. The map is Steps of War. I like this map, I'll be honest. This is this is one of my favorite maps. Um, I like the, the relatively secure expansion. I like the, the short rush distance. I like the, sh the really short like battle area between the bases here. Although, to be honest, I don't think I've ever had a serious big battle right there. Uh, that Ursadak calf will probably live the rest of its days without seeing a battle there uh, when I'm playing the game. But I, you know, I always try to delve into the minds of a map creator. Not that I used to create maps, but uh, back in the days when I used to play Counter-Strike, back in the days of 1.6, that was, that was it, man. I, I actually did a lot of map reviewing the custom maps I would uh, yeah I, I would review all the maps based on how they were made how balanced I thought they were it was hard to get people to play on some of those maps though so I couldn't really get games going on there so it had to be purely up based on what I could see in the game you know how it looked how it how it felt all that kind of stuff you could probably still find my my reviews somewhere so I, I, I've been thinking about that that maybe later on I wanted to do the same thing for Starcraft start doing map reviews I don't know I don't know how I feel about that anyways back to the game you know there's there's like a game here Barracks is up, spawning pool is out, so I did see that spawning pool, saw that it was relatively early, so I'm assuming that he's going for some kind of early pressure here, and if he does, then I'll be ready for it, because I do have a block off here, and once I get that reactor down, and right now I'm waiting for this SCV to come back in, and then I'll drop that reactor, wait, wait for it, wait for it, boom, there it goes, full block off, so I'm happy now, no Zerglings will be harassing my probes. Roach Warren, though, is on the way, so it looks like we're going to be seeing an early Roach push here. Which, I'll be honest, when I train, when, I don't want to say train, but when I do a small little practice round before I start doing my matches for the day, I play against a very hard random opponent. And I don't do any scouting when, when I play those games. But usually when I find out that it's a Zerg player, the find, I find out because they do a massive amount of roaches right here. So the worst thing that you can do against me is do a roach push. Because I'm prepared for it every time. And I know how to counter it. You think I lose against the, the very hard AI? I don't. I win that game every time. But we do have six roaches on the way. Overlord over here to make sure that um, stuff doesn't go down over here, apparently. So roaches are popping out. I don't know what he plans to do with them. But I scan and I'm like, ha, ah, roaches. Saw them. That, that's something, you know, Zerg players don't usually keep their army here like he is. So they usually keep them here. I don't know why. Um, you know, Protoss and Terran players will keep their army right on the ramp. But the Zerg players will keep it right here on the creep. I assume because the creep is so vile, but really you need creep tumors. He hasn't put one down yet. So in come the roaches and a few Zerglings. And this is about the timing of it. It's before my concussive shells are done, way before the stim pack is done. So 
Roach is coming in, and I'm like, yeah, I'm ready for you. No problem. And he's trying to do damage on my supply depot. Didn't even want to attack these guys. He got a couple attacks off. Looks like about three or four attacks. And that was it. Out of all those roaches, they, they got three or four attacks done on my marines, and the rest were on the supply depot. What are you doing, man? But anyways, whatever he is doing, it's uh, seven more roaches on the way. I'm getting supply depots around the base. Orbital Command is up and running and pretty much fully saturated. Maybe even a little, well, fully saturated on the minerals. Even a little, yeah, no, that's good. That's good right there. Seven more roaches are on the way. Still hasn't gotten the, the expansion here, but that's because he's going for the expansion here. He's, he's skipping steps here. He's like, ah, oh, screw Scott. Step two. I'm on step four, man. Getting the high yield. He won't be able to saturate that for a while, though, because he has spent so much of his larva on these roaches. And nope. I thought he was going to go for a little attack there, but he is not. Meanwhile, I, I'm doing my regular build. I'm like, okay. I know the timing of this. I want to get a couple more marauders out, maybe a couple more marines, and then I'm going to move out. I got this. This is, this is pretty much a training match for me. You know, this is a practice match that I do before I get before I get online. You're going to do the same thing that the computer on very hard does. But of course the computer doesn't go for the the high yield expansion there. The computer does, you know, not spit out creep tumors like you should be doing. So I'm moving down and I'm like, "Holy crap, he still has his roaches here." So I stim up these guys, even though they're on drugs, they're freaking out, man! They can't attack anybody. So they're moving down. And I'm like, okay, time to attack. He reinforced that. That was, that was definitely more than what he had when I, when he moved up the ramp. His hatchery is done. The lair is finished as well. But instantly, bam, three spine crawlers. He doesn't have any larva, apparently. Oh, he... Have you been injecting? You have not. You're a bad little queen. So here, <laughs> I'm able to micro for banelings on, on accident, but he doesn't have banelings anyway. So I stim these guys up, taking out the queen now. I, I should be taking out the queen. There we go. So I've already crippled his economy, taken out all the spine crawlers. Now I've crippled his defenses. All he's got are these threes. Ah, no, Zerbing's left. Illusion Chamber did go up. I did see that uh, when I uh, scanned. I saw that it was on the way. And here we go. Reinforcing army. Like a good neighbor. My marines are there. In the lair down. And I'm like, holy crap, you've got an expansion? Like, dude, I checked here. There was no creep. I, you don't have an expansion. So I'm like, okay, whatever, finish up the job here. Waiting for those eggs to hatch. They're just zergling, so who cares? They'll go down real easy. I'm moving out, taking out the war torrent. And I'm like, I'm starting to do damage on the extractors, and I'm like, wait, what am I doing? Let's go for the spawning pool. Uh, another thing that I didn't catch on screen is I did notice that the drones uh, were going this way with what marines I had here, so I'll go inside that base. I'm like, dude, I know you're here, and he's forced to leave the game, so I don't know if he was assuming that he, I, would, I wouldn't check here for another 10 minutes or so, let him get an army going, but no, man, I, you know, I, I, I pay attention, and that's the game. So, really, the best thing I can tell you for that is don't, don't play like the computer, man. If, if you find an opponent that's used to playing against a computer, don't play like it. And this was pretty much exactly what happens every day that I, that I start playing StarCraft 2. I go into the custom map, um, the custom game, play against the computer on very hard mode, uh, do it on random. When it comes out as a Zerg player, this is the strategy that they go for. They don't always go for this expansion here, and he doesn't go for the massive amount of... They don't go for the three spine crawlers there, but pretty much didn't matter this that. It was pretty much the same outcome. I won pretty easily. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.